Hello here. I'm doing my leg. Saying hi. Hello. Hi. And in anticipation to Dragon Age Inquisition, a game that we're both really looking forward to. It's very exciting. I will be doing a let's play of all the Dragon Age games, starting obviously the Dragon Age Origin. I always like that font. <laughs> Canticle of Serenity 813. It sounds like you said tentacles. <laughs> tentacles. The Chantry teaches us that it is the hubris of men which brought the Darkspawn into our world. The mages had sought to usurp heaven. But instead, they destroyed it. They were cast out, twisted and cursed by their own corruption. They returned as monsters, the first of the Darkspawn. They became a blight upon the lands, unstoppable and relentless. The Dwarven Kingdoms were the first to fall, and from the deep roads, the Dark Spawn drove at us again and again, until finally we neared annihilation. Women from every race, warriors and mages, barbarians and kings, the Grey Wardens sacrificed everything to stem the tide of darkness and prevail. been four centuries since that victory, and we have kept our vigil. We have watched and waited for the Darkspawn to return. But those who once called us heroes have forgotten. We are few now, and our warnings have been ignored for too long. seen with my own eyes what lies on the horizon. Maker, help us all. It's like when they say, Maker, help us Maker. all. Like, there's so many people say that throughout the game. It's so true. And character and then, creation. And then you've got the elves who say, by the dread wolf. <laughs> And as always, I play as a human male. Greetings. Human noble. Ugly. Hey, my card is not ugly. It's okay, you're going to make me pray. <laughs> not so many times that I can do this in the two seconds. Like, I know what the three sets of skin, touch it, the hair I want. I remember spending a really long time um, when I created my first warden, and it was, uh, and I encountered someone that looked exactly like me <laughs> somewhere <laughs> in the game. I was like, I've got a twin brother running about for Elden. <laughs> I, I had happened to me in Dragon Age 2, with one of the mages that escapes, uh, the, uh, for one of the, the, uh, the city is close to Kirtwell. It's like, what the mm -hmm. fuck, this looks exactly like me. 
I actually use them, um, the default champion in Dragon Age 2. I don't like that one. I like oh, I love that one. And of course, the uh, Nick, <laughs> the progressively more Nick Cage expression. These expressions are awesome. <laughs> I can't believe they're only on the PC. Yeah, I saw that one. I was like, oh, they have only this on PC. I was like, I'm really regretting not going with that last one. So that was the one I picked, it was funny too. This is the, the last one if I had picked it. I probably would have gotten distracted a lot in the game just looking at it and laughing. It looks like my character is trying to uh, pick up the person who took the picture. What name did you get? Did you get your one? Uh, I did what I do in Mass Effect, and I just changed it to my own name. <laughs> I call my word Alexander. Um, See, I can't do that. I with should my do something else. The, Excuse the, 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 me. We are a called Carl. Till we meet again. You could call him Carl. <laughs> no, I just the walking. How do you do? Carl. Cool. Right, casting. Focus. <laughs> hmm, new yeah, weapon. Scoot. Off I go. <laughs> now, I can't remember whether I, I choose Corky or Slav. I think I choose Corky. Oops, where's my head? Corky's the one where if they open a Not even a they go, and done. I think. Coming through. I think I'm like Greetings. two or two places. I went with Corky, and then I like swapped for more of me. Ah, so uh, my swapped. spell! Also, other players. I don't know something Charmed, about the uh, sure. Corky. The ah, there easy. went the spell. I like the swap. This more. weapon does nothing. Coming through. I like the fairy who was a voice. Fully voice. Farewell. I do not like the armor you start with in the game. No, it's not nice, is it? No, it, it looks like it could just leave a lot of space on the leg. Like, just a little bit up. Like, it's, like, it's an armor run for women. And yeah, it seems a bit thing. dumb that they would leave spaces in the armor and they are, like, like that. <laughs> kind of a weak point, isn't it? I think it's they do this on movies all the time. It's like, it's supposed to be fully armor. Like, then you take an arrow to the knee. <laughs> oh, it's just something to open chest. And we're going to go normal, are we? Yes. For generations, your family, the Kuzlans, has stewarded the lands of Hyava, earning the loyalty of your people with justice and temperance. When your country was occupied by the Orlesian Empire, your father and grandfather served the embattled kings of your land. Today, your elder brother takes up House Kuzlan's banner in service to the crown, not against the men of Orlais against the bestial darkspawn rising in the south. I trust then that your troops will be here shortly. I expect they will start arriving tonight and we can march tomorrow. I apologize for the delay, my lord. This is entirely my fault. No, no. The appearance of the darkspawn in the south has us all scrambling, doesn't it? I only received the call from the king a few days ago myself. I'll send my eldest off with my men. You and I will ride tomorrow just like the old days. True. But we both had less grey in our hair then. And we fought all lesions, not monsters. <laughs> At least the smell will be the same. Arl, how are you I'm dead? sorry, Papa, I didn't see you there. How? You remember my son. I see he's grown into a fine young man. Pleased to see you again, lad. Not saying hello, ignoring code. Ow. Ignore. 
Your brother is riding out with our forces today, but the Arl and I will lead his men tomorrow. My daughter Delilah asked after you. Perhaps I should bring her next time. So that thing for you, how is not an option? <laughs> See what I contend with, Hal? You can't tell my fierce boy anything these days, make her bless his heart. As uniquely talented as his father, I'm sure. At any rate, Pop, I summoned you for a reason. While your brother and I are both away, I'm leaving you in charge of the castle. Now, that's what I'd like to hear. Only a token force is remaining here, and you must keep peace in the region. You know what they say about mice when the cat is away. Yes. There's also someone you must meet. Please, show Duncan. Duncan. I like Duncan. We all love Duncan. It is an honor to be a guest within your hall, Tyrn Coosland. Your Lordship, you didn't mention that a Grey Warden would be present. Duncan arrived just recently, unannounced. Is there a problem? Of course not. But a guest of this stature demands certain protocol. I am at a disadvantage. We rarely have the pleasure of seeing one in person, that's true. Pup, Brother Aldous taught you who the Grey Wardens are. Nothing suspicious about how we need here. Nothing at all. They are the heroes of legend, who ended the blights and saved us all. Duncan is looking for recruits before joining us and his fellow Wardens in the South. I believe he's got his eye on Sir Gilmore. If I might be so bold, I would suggest that your son is also an excellent candidate. Honor though that might be, this is one of my sons we're talking about. Well, Duncan, he is not interested. So unless you intend to invoke the right of conscription... Have no fear. While we need as many good recruits as we can find, I have no intention of forcing the issue. Pup, can you ensure that Duncan's requests are seen to while I'm gone? Why did he call you Pup? In the meantime, that. find Fergus, and tell him to lead the troops to Ostagar ahead of me. Upstairs in his chambers, no doubt. Spending some last moments with his wife and my grandson. Be a good lad and do as I've asked. We'll talk soon. I'm assuming it's because he's the youngest. And this is the point when I thought I broke my game. Ah, yeah. <laughs> a, a, a console player moving to PC and going and make a tactical view. <laughs> yeah, it's like, it's like I'm going to realize, no, this is a story of a tactical view. <laughs> What's going on here? I see you spinning all spin spin spin. Yeah, I eventually find it out. I guess that uh, I when I did my uh test playthrough, you could do a tutorial. But then if you play it again, since you already did it, it's not gonna give you a tutorial. Then I had to uninstall the game. Yes. So when I installed it again, give me the tutorial again. Poor weather, I believe. Their progress has been slow, but it's nothing you need worry about. In a manner of speaking, if I had reinforced our border levies earlier, my troops could have left before the rains. I confess. My confidence in your father allowed me some complacency. I guess that makes it as much his fault. How nope. that's obviously evil as possible. <laughs> we fought together under King Merrick when he drove the Orlesians out of Ferelden. Heady times. The years since have not held the same promise. It's not something a youth would understand. It will be good to ride beside your father again. Your father hasn't spoken of our time with him? That man took care of his friends. As they say, he was large as life and twice as tall. <laughs> it's too bad Kalen isn't half that. I think of him as much as he thinks at all. That's enough, Hal. You speak of our king. 
Oh, the boy did ask, your lordship. As per the latitude you allow. I merely offered my opinion. The topic has come up from time to time. The young and their infatuations. I'm sure that was years ago. People change. To be honest, I have no expectations. And your father seems determined to let you find your own way. If something did happen, well, we'd address it as befits a family of our stature. The next best thing to say, fuck you, is how. Yep. Your father's permissiveness has made you willful, indeed. It may not always serve you so well. <laughs> yeah, another mate, don't time. Well, don't do it. I'm sorry, but I believe your father wishes to talk to the Arl and myself alone. Very well. I doubt your father would mind a slight delay. Indeed. We spotted a horde assembling in the Korkari Wilds not three weeks ago. Luckily, King Kaelin took us at our word and marshaled Ferelden's forces quickly. The first battles have already been fought. Your father and I must move quickly. Thousands. Perhaps ten thousand or more in this horde. Normally, the Darkspawn stay in the deep roads. It bodes ill that so many risk the surface. Well, I understand the first battles have gone easily. Indeed. Are the Grey Wardens sure this is a blight and not simply some large darkspawn raid? No archdemon has been sighted yet, my lord. But with my entire soul, I believe this is a blight. I wish we shared your faith. I suppose we shall see for ourselves, once we arrive at the King's camp. Of course. You are young, skilled, and obviously responsible, if your father is willing to turn his castle over to you. The Grey Wardens do not recruit simply anybody, and I intend no flattery when I say you show promise. The old treaties allow me to conscript you even against your father's wishes, but I will not do so. Our order is too small to risk animosity with Ferelden's nobility. I'm glad I am to hear it. It's tempting, your lordship, but I'm content to see what other candidates your castle offers. I have only found a couple of worthy candidates in my travels across Ferelden. Your father invited me here, suggesting this Sir Gilmore. If he is not suitable, I will head south and join up with the king. Not well. King Kaelin is an eager young man who has shown great wisdom in responding to the Darkspawn threat. I've heard he is a bit enraptured with the Grey Warden legend, and that is why he caters to your order. How? That is unworthy of you. He only repeats what we've all heard. Whatever the King's reasons, I'll take his support. The priority is defeating the Darkspawn before they threaten all of Ferelden. Until we speak again. I'm so scared. Shouldn't you be off to your brother, as I ask? Your brother and I go into battle, not an afternoon tea. Who knows what will happen to us? I will tell you, however. You're my cherished son. I love you. And I trust you completely to carry on the Kuzlan name if the worst should happen. But don't worry about me, dear boy. You'll have enough to occupy your mind while I'm gone. When the King demands it. In fact, not sending our forces south would be a distinctly bad idea. Don't worry, pup. You shouldn't see many problems. But I want you to prepare the men left here. In case. Legends of the Blights tell of horrible things. These Darkspawn once threatened many lands. If we can't hold them, 
You must prepare for the worst. I know you will. You are a Kuzland, after all. But let's not speak of ominous things. We shall assume that all will go well, and the Maker will watch over us. Upstairs in his chambers, no doubt. Saying goodbye to Oriana and your nephew. I'll talk to you soon. Just let me finish my meeting with Duncan. I'm sure nothing is gonna go wrong. Nothing at all. <laughs> Greetings, my lord. You are the Terran's son, are you not? I am a member of Alhau's personal guard. The rest of the Arl's forces are expected tonight. I understand you shall take charge of your father's castle once we march. I'm sure he has no ulterior motive in asking that question at all. That's a little nosy. <laughs> I apologize. Good evening, my lord. Nope, nothing wrong at all. Okay, so this would be you learning to move around. Sort of, like when I did my test play to I that's one of the things trying to learn to move around and which uh control for to use for running. The first time I used the S, then I realized I was for walking backwards. I got, and then I understood why my character wasn't walking in the direction that I wanted him to. Done wrong there. This is my internal battle with wolves. I think after a while I got the hang of it. Can you use the keyboard to move around as well? Yeah, that W is for walking forward and S is for walking backwards. And because I'm used to other PC games using S, I was using the S at first and he was just like walking in the wrong direction. I was like, what the fuck is moving my character? Then I realized that's for walking backwards. I think the standard is W A S D. Eh, maybe. This game, this game looks so much better on PC. Obviously. Yeah. Maker, prepare a place for us. Redeem our world from sin. Forgive our transgressions. Maker, forgive us all! Have you come to pray for your brother and father? I'd be happy to ask for oh, the Maker's the blessings with you. Please, child, call me Malol. I've known you since you were a wee babe, after all. Creator of the sky, the land, and the sea. Hear your people in our time of need. Let no man have cause to fear the shadows. Let their souls be lifted upon your return. So let it be. Maker, forgive us all. There now. I'll be keeping a vigil tonight. You're welcome to come. There are many more who must receive the Maker's blessings before they leave. If you would excuse me. It is the least I could do. If the worst comes to pass, child, take comfort in knowing that the Maker's will takes many forms. We shall talk once the soldiers have departed. I swear to God, those are the two most best phrases in that game. M maker, help us all, and Maker, forgive us all. <laughs> we could do a drinking contest. Good the evening, my lord. We'll be dead uh, before the first two hours of the game will be over. What about Maker's breath? Of course. Oh, God, that one too. Anything involved. The Maker, just Maker. <laughs> You'll be dead in an hour. All 
that stuff. Of course. I was playing as a rogue. You get all that stuff. You get last thing, you get open door, you get open chest and all that stuff. And you get money. Money for all that. All the things. I may do a PC playthrough, and if I do do a PC playthrough, I will be playing as... Oh, my stuff. lord, we were just, uh... Well, uh, well, the treasury's safe. I'm not even sure why the turn stationed us here. I don't know. Nobody has come to look at the treasury. The tan, and perhaps the tanner? I honestly don't know, my lord. My lord is very kind to show us such lenience. I was never here. <laughs> A mage. There you are. Your mother told me the town had summoned you, so I didn't want to interrupt. Yes, I saw the Isle arrive. I fear your hound has the kitchens in uproar once again, and is threatening to leave. Your mother disagrees. She insists you collect the dog, and quickly. You know these Mabari hounds. They listen only to their master. Anyone else risks having an arm bitten off. I'm not willing to test that. You're quite lucky to have your own Mabari warhound, you know. Smart enough not to talk, my father used to say. Of course, that means he's easily bored. Nan swears he confounds her just to amuse himself. At any rate, your mother would have me accompany you until the matter is settled, shall we? She was entertaining Lady Landra and her son when I left her. Perhaps in the atrium? Uh, before we go, my lord, might I beg a question? I've heard from several people that a Grey Warden is here. Is that true? Then, is it also true that this Grey Warden was asking after me? Maker's breath, are you certain? It is. Can you imagine me, a Grey Warden? It would be everything I've dreamed of. Of course, I shouldn't get ahead of myself. Pardon my outburst. Why would a person dream to be a Grey Warden? We really should go after your hound, my lord, before he does something worse. Only what everyone hears. I never expected to actually see one. So few of them are hearing for Elden. Never. You hear about Darkspawn attacking homesteads and travelers, but I thought they were just stories. I hear they only recruit the most skilled. It'd be disappointing if that wasn't true. I only know that once you become a Grey Warden, your old life is over. There's no going back. As you wish. But what if the Grey Warden tries to recruit you? Have you thought about it? could change his mind. Grey Wardens are notorious for doing whatever is necessary to fight the Darkspawn. Scribe Aldous once told me that the Grey Wardens used to burn entire villages to keep them out of Darkspawn hands. If they have to, a few villages are a small price to pay to save the world. Surely you jest, my lord. You're strong, skilled and easily the equal of men twice your age. The Grey Wardens would be fools to overlook you. I suppose you have many other options. Me? I would give anything to be recruited. I would were it my choice. Your father decided I should remain with the compliment guarding the castle. I hope that's because this Grey Warden wishes to see me. Well, you know I've served your father for years since my own father sent me to Squire here. My father is a minor lord in the Benorn, but our land is little more than a glorified farmstead. I do miss it, though. The valleys of the Benorn are beautiful this time of year. I take great pride in serving the turn. Still, if I had the opportunity to join the Grey Wardens, I wouldn't hesitate. 
With his blessing, I imagine. Joining the Wardens is the highest service one can render. Of course, my lord. Lead on. Basically, anyone doing to be a freaking warden is an idealistic person who doesn't actually know what the great warden, the great warden's life is really like. Yep. Or the dreaming of a great battle and the adventure. Good evening, my lord. Of course. And I like shooting. Every single time in the audience, I want to ask me, do I want to be a great warden? I like shooting now because it's hilarious because it's just not, not going to matter. The yeah. <laughs> castle is so, so eerie like, with everyone preparing, note, preparing to ride south. Note, it was so happen. empty. The castle is so eerie with everyone preparing to ride <laughs> south. It, it will be, be so, so empty. empty. Yeah, that's not going to happen. As you desire. All right. See, I did a playthrough of a mage, and that this is basically the problem with being playing as a mage because I got so used to being a rogue that uh, as a mage, I will forget that I that I can't actually last pick anything. So I yeah, I think that's going to be a problem with me uh, during Inquisition because I'm not sure I want to play as a rogue again. Do you know what I mean? I'm either going to play as a rogue or a mage. Mm -hmm. I would really like to play as a mage, so I don't know if I want to start. The problem is, if you're not a rogue, you have to have a rogue in your party, like everywhere you go, and it gets kind of annoying. Uh, that, that's me, like, are you... As you design. Oh, right, I can open this. I gotta wait to have a, a rogue in the party. And that's just the worst, like, if you don't have one, you're the whole solo. And so I shall. Yeah. But if you're a mage, do you not start out in the circle? Delighted. Yeah, but if you're stuck, you'll be lost, right? Yeah, but, I mean, you come back to the circle anyway, for the quest, so it wouldn't really matter if you started in the circle, would it? They are... There is a mod for the computer, so it's not even a lot of things, just can break the shadow of everything. Ooh. What a cool PC. Get that bloody mutt out of the larder! But mistress, it won't let us near! If I can't get into that larder, I'll skin both of you useless elves, I swear it! Uh, calm down, good woman. We've come to help. You and you. Your bloody mongrel keeps getting into my larder. That beast should be put down. Oh. Just get him gone. I've enough to worry about with a castle full of hungry soldiers. You two, stop standing there like idiots. Get out of the way. Do you think I was going to be mean? I did. A little bit. <laughs> I wouldn't have blamed you because she was kind of nasty to the elves. But you know, apparently she uh, she took care of me as a child, so... Yes. I don't even understand the purpose of doing this. Take, the, uh, take out the equipment and then put it back on. <sighs> Oh, look at that mess. How did he even get in here? It does seem like he's trying to tell you something. Wait, did you hear that?
Tell me what to do. Did you like the name? I always loved the name Bark Fun. <laughs> 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 Giant rats? It's like the start of every bad adventure tale my grandfather used to tell. Your hound must have chased them in through their holes. Looks like he wasn't raiding the larder after all. Those were rats from the Kokari wilds. Best not to tell Nan. She's upset enough as it is. But seeing as you've got your Mabari well in hand, I'll be on my way. I'm to prepare for the arrival of more of the Isle's men. Arl has is evil. <laughs> and not present at the time. <laughs> they like it. I like how the, the rats basically died in a circle. <laughs> <laughs> Which one do you think is more unsanitary? Having blood all, all over you or having the luck basically <laughs> wash you off? <laughs> Damn it. Oh, I found something the first time I did that. Like, it's like completely random. Like, sometimes you can get it like the first two times and it'll bring back something. And then other times you basically have to take it several times for him to not find anything, then suddenly finally bring something back. And then I accidentally just pet him instead of telling him to look for something. <laughs> That's just disgusting. No wonder man doesn't like you, dog. Hurry, what we got? I did, I wanted those two items. Very, very determined. And I never bothered with it, I did it once, and then <laughs> I was like, okay, that's fine. Why is that to that with Pedem instead of telling him to go look for something? But I think if I remember correctly, the time that I actually had him first, it's time, yep, that he brought something back. Decision. You seem quite conflicted about some of these decisions. Yeah, I wanted either that one or the last one. Because they were both really funny. I went with that one because it's true, it's gonna come in handy eventually because it's gonna be used to get. There he is, as brazen as you please, licking his chops after helping himself to the roast, no doubt. Look at him now. Snuck into my larder once again and makes off like a free thief, he does. Oh, mistress, there are rats in the larder. Big ones. Oh, looks like the dog killed them. Oh, I bet that dog led those rats into there to begin with. Oh, none. Oh, don't even start with the sad eyes. I'm immune to your so-called charms. Here, then. Take these port bits and don't say that Nan never gives you anything. Bloody dog. Thank you, my lord. Now we can get to work. That's right, you two. Quit standing about. Thank you again for your help. Now, if you'll just hold on a moment. Yes? Adney, get moving with those casts. And Kath, do you think you can serve that to the turn with dirt from the floor all over it? Miserable old bat. Old bat, am I? 
We've got to work double time on supper. Sweep out the hearths and no complaining. <laughs> Just keeping order. That's why your father keeps me on. The good maker knows I needn't take care of you anymore. Thank you for coming to your old nanny's rescue. That blasted hound is more trouble than he's worth. He is. And don't start with me. You've gotten all you're getting today. But what about you, my lord? Been keeping safe and well behaved, I hope. And that's why you made your nanny old before her time. Do you remember that bedtime tale I used to tell you? The dog that bit? I almost went with the second one. <laughs> Good. Then you can start. A warhound was born to the elder bitch of a tribal chief. They named him Hahaku and gave him everything. He grew up a fine, strong pup, destined to be the partner of the chief's eldest son. The young hound became arrogant, taking food from his kin and warning them, in the way of dogs, that the chief's family would punish them if they tried to attack him. Years passed, and the time for the chief's son to take a warhound came closer. Hahaku's pride swelled, and many of the people of the tribe came to the chief, quietly whispering of this dog's bullying. With each complaint, the chief saw only Hahaku's strength and pride, and sent his people away. But as his son grew, the chief watched more closely. The day might come when his boy's life would depend on this dog. If the humblest of his people would not trust Hahaku, how could he? When the day came, Hahaku sat proudly waiting to be called, but the old chief chose Hahaku's brother as his son's hound. Hahaku was shamed, but felt no remorse. So great was his rage that he darted across the fire pit and bit the chief's hand. The chief and his son struck at Hahaku, cursing him. The hound ran into the village, seeking shelter in the tents and kennels. The other dogs snapped at him, and the tribe's people threw stones at him. Before the chief could reach him, the tribe had torn Hahaku apart. Now, what should you carry from this tale? Very true. Hahaku thought himself above the others and expected his position to protect him. But you're far too old now for an old woman to be reminding you to watch how you behave, hmm? It's a story worth repeating. That's all. Be off with you then. Tell your brother farewell before he rides off to war. Lovely, boring story. Indeed. Not sure why that elf is cleaning with her hand. We will <laughs> serve you while the Terran is away. We will serve you well while the Terran is gone. I realise this is a fantasy setting, but I'm not sure I would enjoy living in those times. <laughs> Unless I was and a maid. my dear Bryce bought this pack from Orlay last year. The Marquis who gave it to him was drunk, I understand, and mistook Bryce for the king. Ah, here is my younger son. I take it by the presence of that troublesome hound of yours that the situation in the kitchen is handled? You've always had a way with her. Darling, you remember Lady Landra, Ban Lawrence's wife? I think we last met at your mother's spring salon. You're too kind, dear boy. Didn't I spend half the salon shamelessly flirting with you? Right in front of your family, too. You remember my son, Dairon. He's riding with your father tomorrow. It's good to see you again, my lord. And this is my lady-in-waiting, Iona. 
Do say something, dear. It is a great honor, my lord. I have heard many wonderful things about you. Don't look now, Eleanor. But I believe the girl has a crush on your lad. Lady Landra! Hush, Landra. You'll turn the poor thing is scarlet. Is she drunk now, too? <laughs> As it pleases you, my lord. I think perhaps I shall rest now, my dear. Dairon, I will see you and Iona at supper. Perhaps we'll retire to the study for now. Good evening, your lordship. Got you a screenshot. I still have no idea where to look at those. So, does the game automatically take screenshots, or were you taking screenshots no, while you were playing? The game automatically takes them. Mm. You can have the option to automatically also be uploaded to your Bioware uh, account. True. Hello, my dear boy. By chance, I am beginning to teach these young squires about your family's history. Uh, do we have to? History is boring. Boys, you are referring to the Kuslans, the very family in whose castle you live. Show some respect. If the mind is not exercised, it withers just as the body does. Perhaps you'd care to join me in teaching the lesson? Perhaps you could make the topic more... palatable for these lads. And their minuscule intellects. No wonder they kiss them all there. He keeps insulting them. <laughs> Wonderful. Oh, the Coosland history is long indeed. Where shall we start? Well, I'm glad some of my lessons don't disappear into that yawning chasm between your ears, young man. I can feel that one of the sarcastic answer. Sarcastic answers are usually the best. You're skilled as a girl. If I were truly a skilled tutor, I suspect I would not encounter such insouciance amongst my pupils. You could look that up later. At any rate, your family has held the tourneur of High Ever since before King Callan had united Ferelden. In fact, Tierna Elethea Kuslan battled Kalanhan to maintain Hyever's independence. Kalanhan wished to unite Ferelden, not conquer it. After Elethea's men were defeated, Kalanhan asked her to swear fealty. The boulder where they held council still stands today as a memorial of that event. You know, it looks like the kids are actually trying to read the subtitles on the top. <laughs> it really does. <laughs> Records are vague. But the Kuslans became Tierns during the Black Age. Is that familiar, child? Good. I'm pleased some of my lessons seem to have stuck. At that time, your family held only the minor title of Ban. When the werewolves reached this area, Ban Mather Kusland organized a curfew and patrols within the city. Several other local bands supported his efforts by swearing oaths of fealty, making him their turn. The history between the Kuslands and the house reaches back to the Orlesian occupation. During your grandfather's rule, of course, Orle found it difficult to hold these lands. During the rebellion against Orle, several battles were fought near High Ever. The port village of Harper's Ford was the Turnier's center. Its arrow was Tarleton Howe. Though nearly 90, he was still as sharp and bitter as cheap ale. Your grandfather openly supported the rebellion, but Howe sided with Orle. Your family was forced to seize Harper's Ford before it was all over. Mm -hmm. 
Correct. That caused a rift between the two families, as you might imagine. The Howes eventually joined the rebellion, when all of Ferelden united behind King Merrick and General Loghain. Just as now we united behind Merrick's son, King Caelan, to fight the Darkspawn. Thank you for indulging an old man. You're welcome, old man. Oh, does that mean we have to listen to you now? Silence. I will not have you two becoming smart-mouthed hooligans. But perhaps you should go. I doubt they need any more distraction. I'm just going to settle in here and apparently just talk to myself for all the good I'm doing. I don't have myself all this one to you. Mother says the dark spawn sure will all be killed and I won't see one. Is that true? Be important later on. Mm -hmm. Mother says the dark spawn will all be killed and I won't see one. Is that true? <laughs> Please hit time. Did you forget in that it's later on? This has happened to me a lot when I play this game. That it's actually gonna be a chest in that area. So I was coming look at it before it's actually there. Do you you can't return to High Ever after you leave it, can you? No. You don't visit it as any of the other origins either? Nope. Of course. I'm to score a hot day for the night. Can you guess who I'm gonna shoot? <laughs> Hello again. Your castle study is wonderful. Might I ask whose collection this is? I don't want to talk about books, Darian. <laughs> So would I. Do you have a favorite book? The Art of Passionate Love. <laughs> Good choice. Timius's theory on the nature of dragons and how they connect to Darkspawn is quite intriguing. Let's talk about me. I like that topic. Yes, though I don't know when. I will leave when your father does. I'll ride as his second. A glorified squire, more or less. I'll care for his horse and armor and such. It's quite an honor. I hope so. I admit to trepidation about facing Darkspawn, but I can't imagine an opponent more worthy of defeat. Unlike you, I am no child of a great house. If I can rise within the ranks of your father's service, it is more than I could normally hope for. I'm a bit surprised that you're not riding alongside your brother. Is that disappointing? It is definitely not implying anything. <laughs> implying? Not at all. I'm simply curious. If you're interested, I shall record what I can during the battle. My writing skills may be lacking, but I hope to convey a true sense of a warrior's experience. Writing such an important work is one of my ambitions. No more than anyone else. Is it true there is one here in the castle? Have you met him? I joined the Grey Wardens in a heartbeat. Can you imagine destroying the Darkspawn forever? Becoming a hero? But I'd never gain a Grey Warden's notice. I'll have to be happy under your father's command. They're also excited about this idea of joining the Grey Warden. Of course, my lord. I am sure you have much to do yet. Did you, uh, uh, take taking a few dates when you play the game? Did I what? Like, ask him to go to your room for five minutes. That is a five. wonderful yeah. dog. He seems very noble and intelligent. You totally should have done this, Lark. I like her better. Greetings once again, my lord. Lady Landra has been very good to me. I am lucky. If I may, your mother has no ladies-in-waiting herself. Is that usual for a noble woman of her rank?
That is not a sentiment I see amongst other noble women. My family has been in service to hers for many years. Lady Landra elevated my place as a reward for our loyalty. I hope this position might pass to my daughter. I have risen very high for my people. I would not tempt fate by wishing more. Lady Landra is good to her elven servants. That is not true in many households, but I hear it is in yours. It speaks well of your father to show such compassion. I am an open book, my lord. What would you like to know? Lady Landra's manor is not half so large as your castle, so my family lives in the alienage. There, we do not stand out quite so much. In an alienage, my daughter learns what it means to be elven. As much as possible, so much of our history has been lost. That is... an awkward question. What do you mean? Our court sorrow. <laughs> Sometimes. But to be honest, we elves have lost much of our history. Few speak our language anymore, and many do not know what being elven means. We live amongst you, worship as you do, sing the same songs, eat the same foods. I am a Ferelden woman, yet my race will always set me apart. No longer. I have little time for such things. Do that. Between caring for my daughter and Lady Landra, very little. Though I would not rule it out if the right person came along. Of course. Farewell, my lord. Good luck on managing this castle in the coming months. I imagine it shall be very difficult. Tis, what happened for your testing? Greetings once again, my lord. I missed the options to activate for Roman, so I have to do it again. My lord is very kind. Thank you. I am an open book, my lord. What would you like to know? No longer. I have little time for such things. You flatter me, my lord. I am not so pretty that suitors are lining up, if that's what you mean. That is... an awkward question. What do you mean? Some humans, yes, without question. Of course. Are we doing just that? What else did you have in mind? Rumpe pumpe time. <laughs> <laughs> I... I see. I think I might like that. If I come to your door once everyone is asleep, would that be agreeable, my lord? Yeah, no one's ever gonna call you that. Until tonight, then. <laughs> Not out loud, anyway. Max Quest! I have a date for the night. Damn it, Wolf. They might never do. There's a PC version of the game. <laughs> See? Get running into walls. You should say goodbye to Fergus while you have the chance. Yes, your father mentioned that. You haven't got it into your head that you want to be recruited. Isn't it hilarious when you play as a black character and all your family is white? Keep it that way. <laughs> You've enough to do here at the castle without chasing Darkspawn. I know it's difficult to stay in the castle and watch others ride off, but we must see to our duties first. You understand that, don't you? Trust me, you'll get your chance for excitement soon enough. 
If he's not out with his men, probably upstairs with Oriana. For a few days. Then I'll travel with Lady Landra to her estate and keep her company for a time. Your father thinks my presence here might undermine your authority. Mommy, don't, don't worry, leave my me. dear. It won't be long. <laughs> I have a bad feeling about this, aka it's a trap. As do I. It's a trap. Your father and brother are marching off to fight Maker knows what. All the assurances in the world don't comfort me. But it wouldn't help for us to take up arms and follow. Fergus and your father have their duty and we have ours. I love you, my darling boy. You know that, don't you? Go do what you must then. I will see you soon. Parents loving children that they love them. Definitely nothing bad is about to happen. And so I shall. I don't even understand why this is an option to open now since it doesn't actually have anything inside. Just setting the scenery here. There's nothing in there, Carly. Don't know what's <laughs> in there. There's still nothing in there. Good evening, my lord. Good evening, my lord. There are some doors you cannot lock, Dick Warden. Delighted. going to be a war, Papa. Will you bring me back a sword? That sword, Oren. And I'll get you the mightiest one I can find, I promise. I'll be back before you know it. I wish victory was indeed so certain. My heart is disquiet. Don't frighten the boy, love. I speak the truth. And here's my little brother to see me off. Now dry your eyes, love, and wish me well. Stay. I'd like to say farewell. Oh. If it's any consolation, I'm sure I'll freeze in the southern rain and be completely jealous of you up here, warm and safe. I am positively thrilled that you will be so miserable, husband. <laughs> I wish you could come. It'll be tiring killing all those darkspawn myself. Surely your father would not place both his heirs in danger? Mother and father have been fighting about it for days. It's too bad. I could have used you at my side. Really? Was he riding a griffin? Shh, Oren. Griffins only exist in stories now. I'd heard that. Did he say why he's come? Good for him. I hope he makes it. If I were a Grey Warden, though, I'd have my eye on you. Not that Father would ever allow it. Word from the South is that the battles have gone well. There's no evidence that this is a true blight, just a large raid. Could that be true? I'll see for myself soon enough. Pray for me, love, and I'll be back within a month or two. No, oh, he won't. <laughs> then the Isle's men are delayed. You'd think his men were all walking backwards. Well, I'd better get underway. So many darkspawn to be ahead, so little time. Off we go then. I'll see you soon, my love. I would hope, dear boy, that you plan to wait for us before taking your leave. Be well, my son. I will pray for your safety every day you are gone. He's not the one that's gonna make praying. Yep. I keep telling you, no darkspawn will ever best me. The Maker sustain and preserve us all. Watch over our sons, husbands and fathers, and bring them safely back to us. And bring us some ale and wenches while you're at it. 
Uh, for the men, of course. Mm -hmm. Fergus, you would say this in front of your mother? What's a wench? Is that what you pull on to get the bucket out of the well? A wench is a woman that pours the ale in a tavern, Oren. Or a woman who drinks a lot of ale. Mm -hmm. Bryce, make us breath. I swear it's like living with a pack of small boys. I'll miss you, mother dear. You'll take care of her brother, won't you? Give an explanation of what a wench is. And who? It's true. They should be sending her, not me. She would scold those darkspawn back into the deep roads. Well, I'm glad you find this so funny. <laughs> enough, <laughs> enough. Pup, you'll want to get an early night. You've much to do tomorrow. Yeah, an early night. That's not gonna happen. <laughs> Mama says you're going to be watching over us while Papa is gone. Is that true, Uncle? What if the castle is attacked? Will there be dragons? No. Nope. Dragons are terrible creatures, Oren. They eat people. Yeah, I want to see one. This is your influence, Fergus. What? I didn't say anything. Are you going to teach me to use a sword, Uncle? Then I can fight evil That's too. Only, that child Take that, dire bunny! All dark spawn. Fear my sword of truthiness. We're teaching him about honesty. Don't worry, son. You'll get to see a sword up close real soon. I promise. Oh, Frank, I like I regret saying that. If you should need any assistance in the coming days, I would be glad to offer it. Getting sent to bed early, are we? What? You sly dog. Fergus, really? It's the elven lass that arrived with Lady Landra, isn't it? Don't you tell me it isn't. <laughs> At any rate, I'll miss you. Take care of everyone, and be here when I get back. Best do as your father says, darling. I will see you in the morning, bright and early. You should be on your way, pup. Long day ahead tomorrow. Ah, I was wondering how long this would take. Has he asked to recruit you? If a blight is truly upon us in the south, then Grey Wardens will be needed. There is no higher calling. If it comes to that, we can talk about it when I get back. Until then, just show him every courtesy. Duncan is a fine man. And a hero. I know that you'll do me proud. You've grown into a fine lad. That much is clear. I should go. But I'll see the master later. Ah, yeah. Good old I should go. Well, with that, uh, we're done. This is the very first chapter of our left play. And we'll be back uh, next time when things are about to go down very badly. Things get a bit more exciting. Yes. Check out the name of the book for the same file. Very interesting. <laughs> Not. So, thanks for watching, everyone. We'll see you next time. Uh, please subscribe. And thank you. Goodbye. Bye. -bye.